Hello and welcome to the Archie Luxury Program. Today I'd like to talk about why Archie's dream went bad. That's right. Why did Archie's dream in life go bad? And let's just uh, analyze this. So, look, what, what Archie was trying to do is, Archie's just your normal middle class guy and uh, he's got a, a mortgage on his middle class house. He's got his... Uh, um, nice average middle class car and uh, Archie's you know always trying to get that little bit extra he's trying to shoot above his income bracket and uh, luxury goods has been a um, has always been something that Archie has loved and uh, Archie's a great hoarder and a great collector and uh, Archie will do anything to get some beautiful luxury goods and uh, anyhow what what was happening is that Archie Archie's always a bit of a a, um, a buyer and a seller, a mover and a shaker, and uh, Archie was uh, buying pieces with his knowledge and uh, reselling them for a profit. And then Archie decided, look, what he'd really like to do is he'd like to amass a collection of luxury goods which he's bought at uh, on the secondary market, second hand. Don't pay retail. Retail's for suckers. And uh, he'd like to get a collection going. And uh, he'd eventually, by the time he's uh, in his mid to late 50s, Archie can give away the day job and uh, open a, uh, a little shop in the city and sell pre-owned luxury goods. And uh, if Archie's smart enough, that'll be his seed capital for the business to last him into retirement and that would allow Archie to to earn a income it allow Archie to um, go overseas on buying trips which is a tax deduction of course and uh, it'll it'll pay for the odd bordello trip and uh, so anyhow Archie started uh, amassing some luxury goods jewelry uh, anything that came up at a good price Archie's specialist niche he didn't just buy anything he was buying really good pieces like for example if it was a diamond he'd make sure the diamond was was good quality vs and above sort of stones uh, he'd make sure the color was reasonable good size and make sure obviously the price had to be keen so uh, that, that was Archie's modus operandi and uh, he, Archie was always buying some Louis Vuitton as well Archie's a great lover of Louis Vuitton and uh, he started really getting into the um, the hard case that's the hard sided suitcases and, and briefcases and started getting a bit of a collection going and Archie's dream was always to buy really good pieces and then 10 to 20 years down the track <clears throat> he could open a shop flick them all off to the collector market by which time the prices would have also risen because luxury goods do keep up with inflation and uh, he could he could have a nice little little earner there and uh, that that was Archie's dream so 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 why has the the, the shit hit the fan why has it all gone wrong and uh, well Archie himself was hoping to amass Archie's current luxury good collection is is just over a hundred thousand Australian dollars which is roughly about the same in US dollars so he's got over a hundred grand that's what Archie paid for it retail replacement I think is about three fifty thousand Archie was hoping to have about two hundred and fifty thousand dollars worth of stock that's what Archie's paid for it by the time he retired when Archie's about fifty five sixty and uh, you know that would have a uh, a retail replacement just under a million dollars so so what went wrong why did it all go cactus well we had the global financial crisis and Archie's also seen the demise of the retail store and um, let's be honest the net is really eating into traditional types businesses and, uh, and I'm not saying it's a bad thing Archie doesn't give a fuck Archie's looking at making a buck he's not here to fucking moralize and say what's right or wrong I mean there's no, no fucking point in that we're just looking at we're just talking the truth here I mean your Walmart has killed the smaller shops your uh, Bunnings in Australia has killed the smaller hardware store your news agents well office works is slaughtering them and this is the reality Discount pharmacy warehouse is killing traditional pharmacies. So anyhow, Archie was buying shit left, right and centre. Good pieces, good prices, building up the collection slowly. And uh, it's just gone fucked. 
I mean, seriously, the whole fucking world's gone into the shitter. And Archie's looked at it, and Archie even went and worked. Archie's normally an IT contractor, and uh, Archie went and um, worked in a jewellery store, an upmarket jewellery store, well, a fucking a middle-class jewellery store, and just to get some sales experience on how to run a shop, how to do displays, and Archie was there, and uh, he enjoyed working in the store, but... After working there for a couple of months, Archie realized something. Retail is fucked. That's right, retail is fucked. These are people who are just happy to keep the doors open, yet alone make money in, and uh, really do well. And uh, it's just fucked. It's absolutely fucked. And Archie said, fuck, do I really want to, do I really want to have a fucking store just battling to keep the fucking thing open? I mean, there's more to life than that. So Archie's had a bit of a think about it and thought, well, fuck, I've got two, two, two options here. What I can do is, is I can, I can either build up my luxury base or I can reduce my current debt, reduce the mortgage on the house, um, maybe buy an, an, another investment property. And, um, you know, that, that maybe is a better wealth creator than Archie's luxury goods and um, of course it's very romantic having the luxury goods and you know you get a certain there's a certain satisfaction in owning a shitload of luxury goods but bang per buck we're going to look at what's best for Archie's future and I, I think realistically the reality is after I just got my insurance bill for all my luxury goods and it comes to about three and a half thousand dollars three and a half thousand for insurance cover, not to mention safety deposit box fees at the bank to store stuff at the bank in the, in the, in the bank vault. And you've really got to look at it and say, fuck, is it really worth it? Is this the way to get rich, Archie? And the answer is, no, it's fucking not. So Archie's having a bit of a rethink. And what Archie's going to do is, he loves luxury. Luxury is always a part of Archie's life. But what he's going to do is, he's going to reduce the number of things he's got, keep the best stuff that Archie really loves, sell off the lesser pieces and, and the ones where he's got more than one of, and uh, reduce the mortgage and maybe uh, put that money into some stocks and some shares. I mean, fuck. Luxury goods, is that a great investment? I mean, I love them. They do pay a personal div dividend on the soul. But the reality is, how many fucking hard case suitcases do you need? How many wristwatches do you need? How many fucking diamonds do you need? So this is why Archie has decided to sell some of his really premium pieces. And look, i got to tell you this. I've given a few pieces to some, to some contacts I've got. There's Ronnie from Brisbane Vintage Watches, who also owns Sydney Vintage Watches. I've given him six grand, six thousand dollars worth of stuff, and uh, I've also got Shane from uh, Casino Pawnbrokers. Shane also runs Peppers Auctions, and uh, I've given him about twenty thousand dollars worth of stuff. And uh, the interesting thing is, oh, good old Archie himself. Just by running the Archie Luxury Channel and uh, putting a piece on eBay, Archie's already sold $4,500 worth of stuff. He's beated both these fucking shops. So, you know, I mean, Archie's not even trying and he's already he brought in for it. No, that's not profit. That's, 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 that's the turnover, of course. But at this stage, Archie's modus operandi is to get his money back on the pieces he's bought, which is, is not, it's not, there's nothing, nothing hard about that. And uh, Archie's got a few bargains for some viewers. So, um, yeah, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to put a video together very shortly, which is Archie's giant sale. And I will list pieces on YouTube here. If anyone's interested, I'll tell you what I paid for it. I'm not going to sell anything below cost. And uh, I will, uh, I'll be happy to accept, you know, come to me and see if we can work out a deal.
And uh, I've, I've already sold uh, my Omega Speedmaster to a great guy called Steve. He's, he absolutely loves it, and that was a fantastic sale. I absolutely love that. And uh, I'm just going to see if I can do that for a few other pieces, because let's be honest, retail is fucked. The idea of running a shop is fucked. And uh, why not cut the middleman out and fucking go direct? And uh, Archie's got a big following now. And... Uh, yeah, why not cash in on it? So so this is what's happening with Archie. This is why Archie's changing direction. Now, Archie's not going to sell everything off. Archie said, well, in his case, he wants to keep a couple beautiful watches for himself. I'll probably end up keeping the... Uh, I'm definitely going to keep the Patek and the Jaeger La Coltra, And I'll possibly keep another piece. I haven't decided whether it's the AP Royal Oak. It could be the Explorer 2. Or it could even be this new Quartz Seamaster that's come in. I mean, I don't really care. They're all lovely watches. Anything that Archie's got is fantastic. I'm going to keep a few Louis Vuitton suitcases and a few uh, briefcases, but I don't need as many as I've got. So I'm going to actually sell a few off. I'm going to offer them to my YouTube audience. And, uh, I mean, I, I'm, I'm going to be honest with you. I'll tell you what I paid for it. You tell me if you're interested. So, so there you go. That's, that's, that's what Archie's going to do. So Archie's having a bit of a downsize. And uh, what am I going to do with the money? Well, look, I just want to get a little bit of... Um, get out of a few pieces. I'm a bit very stock heavy because I wanted to open a store. But that dream in the course of the last two years has been shattered. Retail is fucked. Okay, it is absolutely fucked. So there's no point opening a store. So I've, uh, I've, I've, I've reached that reality. I don't need so much luxury. I bought stock. I was basically buying stock for my store. And I've, I've changed course, and I think that's a stupid idea now. So I want to sell out on some pieces. So if you've, um, I'm going to put a video together, Archie's huge sale. And uh, I will tell you what a piece cost. You come back to me and tell me if you're interested. So, so there you go. That's what, that's what my plan is. So, yep, yeah, that's how it goes. Retail's fucked. I'm Archie Luxury. And tell me what you think.